Hey guys, uh, welcome to this lesson and uh, today we are going to see the area of triangles and you know how can we uh, arrive at, uh, at, at, its, at its formula for any kind of triangle, right? Uh, so to start off with, we'll first take uh, a simple right angle triangle, right? So I'll just draw it out uh, and look, okay, let's put it something like this you know where uh, this angle is my right angle triangle I'll designate an angle uh, say theta here and this will then become 90 minus theta this angle here and let's mark the sides A, B and C right so now if I were to uh, you know draw another uh, uh, you know triangle here uh, using the same uh, hypotenuse so that will become something like this right so where this is the the right angle here uh, you know this angle is it's basically uh, 90 minus theta again and this is theta right so this angle is 90 degree here uh, let's just name it as d this angle is is you know uh, so theta plus 90 minus theta is 90 degree the same here it's again 90 degree and this is also 90 degree so we can call this a rectangle right now from from the rectangle you know uh, we can find out that the area or uh, say I'll, I'll just mark it as area of a b c is basically equal to half of area of rectangle a b c d right now what is area of rectangle uh, ABCD is half into uh, AB into BC right so uh, now if, if we take the case of, of, uh, of you know the, this area ABC only then this probably becomes the base and this becomes the height right so AB is the height here and BC is the base so is equal to half into AB which is the height into base right so this is basically the the formula for area of triangles now you might say that you know it's easy to say this in case of a right angle triangle what happens if it's an obtuse angle triangle or an acute angle triangle so if we will we'll also you know see those cases say we pick up a uh, you know an, an acute angle triangle something uh, like this right so let's mark it as ABC now uh, we know that clearly that this angle is not 90 degree this is not 90 degree and this is also not 90 degree they are all less than 90 degrees so what I will draw is from A you know I will draw a line which is perpendicular here represents 90 degrees on both sides and this is my point D now from the previous example that we saw initially I can easily you know find out the area of this triangle here this right angle triangle here and this right angle triangle here so the area here area of ABC in this case is equal to half into uh, AD into BD right plus the other triangle half into AD into DC so this will become half into AD since AD is common here and I am left with BD plus DC right now what is BD plus DC it's simply BC right so this is equal to half into AD into BC right so this again since AD here is my height and BC is my base so in case of an acute angle triangle this is here here is an you know acute uh, angle uh, triangle so here also the formula or uh, that the area of the triangle is equal to half into height into base stands true now let's look it up in the case of a um, you know of a uh, uh, 
say obtuse angle triangle so I'll draw an obtuse angle triangle which will look something like this right and this is my obtuse angle here these angles are both obviously acute and I'll just name them as A, B and C right so now if I need to draw a perpendicular from A it will come somewhere over here right and I'll just extend this over here I'll name this as D now and this is 90 degrees so the area of uh, you know uh, A, B, C is basically equal to area of A, D, C minus area of A, D, B right so we have to basically subtract this area from the entire triangle that we have here right so uh, you know to, to state it simple in, 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 and to, to just open this up and, and put our formula in you, so the area of triangle ADC is equal to half into AD into DC right minus half into AD which is again the height into db right which is the base here so if i simplify this i have ad as common here then i all again have dc minus db so dc minus db this is dc this is db so the remaining area that we have here this area this marks the base of triangle abc which is bc so this is equal to half into AD into BC again so here AD is basically my height height and BC is my base and hence in a case of any triangle the area of the triangle is always equal to half into the height of the triangle into the base of the triangle right so this is proven so i hope whenever you get any triangle you know where you need to find the area you, you and and you have these figures you can very quickly and very easily find this out right thank you so much